Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. I love the nurses that come and see me. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Since I learned about Angel Care, I would recommend them to anybody. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always to the producer and editor of our series, Jeff DeRaw. We're at the Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau offices at 27th and Vine in Hayes with the new director since December, Melissa Dixon, our Community Connection. Well, let's get right to it, Melissa. What are the areas of work the CVB does? There's so many of them, and I'm learning as I've, since I've joined. Uh, there's a great staff here that's helped me learn all the pieces of the CVB, which um, some people still don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. So I've tried to spell it out more often, Convention and Visitors Bureau. And even though we don't have a convention center right now, we still bring in events and we take care of the people that are involved in those events. Um, and basically we market Hayes as a tourist destination. So you're not only taking care of the people who have come to the city, but also trying to recruit others to come. Yes, and that could be a family reunion, it could be a concert, it could be a rodeo, uh, could be a toy show, which we're gonna talk about later. <laughs> ah. And uh, of course you've just come off a big weekend with basketball tournaments and uh, the big Special Olympics uh, in Hayes. I'd say three big weekends, it's felt like to me. Uh, I really got a crash course in what the CVB does um, in the community for our visitors. There was a state wrestling tournament came to town, mm -hmm. which was an eye-opening experience. Mm -hmm. um, tons of families and participants camped out all around the concourse of Gross Memorial. There was the state basketball tournament. <clears throat> there was a younger kids wrestling tournament, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then this weekend was Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, so a few things that we do for those, uh, Special Olympics is a good example. Um, our staff helps recruit volunteers and I believe they needed around 400 mm -hmm. volunteers for this particular event. We help recruit people to help and we take care of the adopt a team effort. Mm -hmm. So local businesses will adopt a team and that just means they take care of them, um, getting them to the right place, feeding them, things mm -hmm. like that, and cheering at their games. Mm -hmm. um, so they have Special Olympics. Then with state basketball, we actually ran the hospitality room for the coaches and the administrators. Um, mm -hmm. So I felt like I put my waitress and shoes back on uh, <laughs> and got to, got to see those coaches and um, chat with those visitors and say, we're glad you're here. We hope you have a great time and we hope you come back and we hope you always bring your tournament back. Uh, and state wrestling, we also ran the hospitality room. But we'll put bags together for those coaches, little welcome packets that say, here's things to do while you're here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also set up info tables around the concourse of the Coliseum for when people are wandering around, they can pick up a brochure to help them get downtown, help them find restaurants to eat at while they're here. How important, have you discovered how important tourism is to our area, Melissa? I had no idea uh, <laughs> how powerful that I-70 corridor is. Mm -hmm. um, people don't realize our hotels are full in the summer most of the time, no matter what we're doing, because mm -hmm. of that high traffic on mm -hmm. I-70. Um, but you know, I think a lot of people wouldn't think of Hayes when they think of tourism, but we have a lot of special tourism partners that I've been trying to get around and visit uh, who bring a lot of people to town. Mm -hmm. um, from the Sternberg Museum of Natural History, Ellis County Historical Society Museum, um, our Arts Council with its gallery and its quarterly art walk. Um, mm -hmm. All of those are things that bring people here. And historic Fort Hayes as well. And of course the university. There's uh -huh. so many people I still have to get around to see <laughs> and talk to. I feel like it's still early and um, 
got a lot of a lot of people to meet still. Glad you've got a lot of energy because it's going to take <laughs> that for this job, I Thank think. You. What's the latest can you tell us on a possible convention center, something that's been discussed for a while? Well, I, there's no blueprint prints floating around that I can share, but um, I can share that there have been, I think, more successful discussions than ever before. Mm -hmm. People are coming to the table saying, this is what we want. Let's get our resources together and make it happen. Mm -hmm. So I think it's closer than we've ever been, um, but there's, I don't think there's the right site mm -hmm. in place yet. But there is a new hotel breaking ground north of town with 90 rooms. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say the name because I'll get the wrong one. Okay. Um, but mm. they did break ground. Okay. Um, I believe it will hold 300 at a, mm -hmm. in a banquet setting. Um, so that's an additional space that we didn't have before that we're absolutely mm -hmm. excited about. How did you get to the office? And don't use that term that our producer Jeff Durall said about I came in my car because that's not going to fly. <laughs> His ideas are all bad, let me tell you that going in. Well, I actually, um, it's an interesting story. I was presenting to the Hayes Area Young Professionals Group and telling mm -hmm. them about how I used social media marketing in my um, current job then. And there was a city person in the audience who said, you would be perfect for this opening we have for director. Oh. Why don't we talk? Ah. <laughs> and that's, that's how it went down. <laughs> wow. Well, that's terrific. I note a little bit of a, shall we say, southern influence, perhaps? A little, a little yes. <laughs> uh, my husband and I both grew up in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of history there, there oh. too. We yeah. uh, grew up in a Civil War town, and tourism was a big market there as mm -hmm. well. River boats and all. Yes, yeah. yes. And, of course, we've had a chance to visit with Grady on numerous occasions and hope to in the future once again, too, at Fort Hayes State. Um, how'd you get interested in this particular area? Well, my degree is actually in fine art. Uh, but to be sure I could get a job, I went into graphic design as well. Mm. <laughs> Please, my dad. And um, I started working for University of Georgia. They had, while we were there, my husband went to school there as well, um, in-house graphic design department. And then we ended up in Arizona where I worked for a graphic design studio there. Long story short, that studio helped me put a branch of their firm back in Mississippi. So I ran a graphic design and advertising agency for nine years in Starkville, Mississippi, home of Mississippi State, where we both went to school. And after that, found this great opportunity at Fort Hayes State, which brought us to Hayes America. Mm -hmm. And I was working for the university mm -hmm. in um, university relations and marketing, running their social media marketing. So all the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts, mm -hmm. putting the news online so it could go farther and faster. Wow. And eventually wound up here at the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Mm -hmm. What kind of support, tell us about the support, Melissa, that your office provides to groups who meet here. You've mentioned some of that with the wrestling tournament, Special Olympics and such as mm -hmm. that. Uh, there's a lot that goes on with your staff. Yes, um, we've got full-time marketing person to help us, that's Zach Wolf. So mm -hmm. anything you see um, online, marketing-wise, social media, video, he's taking care of all of that. Um, Bobby Pfeiffer helps with our tourism coordination services, so making sure those people are taken care of mm -hmm. while they're here. And there's so many moving parts mm -hmm. that go into that. Janet Kuhn is our convention sales manager. So people call her when they're looking for a certain space. Mm -hmm. um, and based on their description, the size of their group, she helps them find a match around town mm -hmm. and, and facilitates their visit. Tell me about, too, the uh, benefits that come to the area from people coming here. Yes. Um, that I-70 corridor is driving our economy more than I knew. Um, the transient guest tax, which is our hotel tax, mm -hmm. that powers so much of our quality of life with mm -hmm. uh, letting Hayes have nice things, is mm -hmm. how I say it. 
Um, so the tourists are fueling our economy, um, whether we realize it or not. Um, they're stopping in, filling up their tanks, um, eating at our restaurants, and what I hope I can do is direct them out into town to stay longer and shop and see all the great things we have to offer, take, uh, take in some of our attractions. And that uh, so-called bed tax uh, helps to, uh, to fund the organization. Other funding available? We are solely funded by Transient Guest Tax. Mm -hmm. Tell me about uh, some of the events ahead. There's a nice little handout piece that I want to show briefly here, and Jeff will show that in a little bit more detail. But this goes where? Where do you take this? We have been including that in the Chamber of Commerce newsletter. Mm -hmm. So if you're a chamber member, you should see that. We will also have it in local hotels. Mm -hmm. As we have gone around visiting properties, they've said, we need to know what's going on right now. So mm -hmm. when somebody puts us on the spot and says, I'm here tonight, what is there to do? They can grab this and show those mm -hmm. people. Um, we are, we'll put it online, we'll have it on our website, visithaze.com. Um, it's just a short and sweet, maybe top 10 things going on, but also to direct people to our events calendar where they can read more. Boy, that is so important too, because uh, as many uh, probably could attest, when you go to a different location and you're staying overnight or maybe for two nights or something, Sometimes you don't know what's going on and sometimes there's no resource to find out. We want to be sure we're helping our hotel properties, that we're giving them the tools they need to do their job, mm -hmm. as easy, make it as easy as possible. Well, we've got a little time here, so what's ahead? What are we looking at at the Convention and Visitors Bureau Let's see for, here. say, the month of April, Melissa? Well, you know, the Fox Pavilion is open um, mm -hmm. with shows, so if you don't drive down Main Street often, you might not notice, but there have been lines out the door, people mm -hmm. waiting to get into shows, and I think that is so exciting. Yeah. So one of the Fox shows coming up is the Josh Abbott Band, April 7th, but if you go to thefoxhaze.com, you can see their entire lineup. Mm -hmm. um, the Encore series on campus, uh, is still going. That's the one that packs uh, Beach Smith Beach Performing Smith. Arts they Center. They will be time. performing Pippin April mm -hmm. 30th. Big Creek Crossing Mall has a toy show, a craft and gift fair, both, let's see, toy show April 15th, craft and gift fair April 22nd, and farm show April 22nd. And as far as music goes, there's more at Beach Smith with the 49th annual Mm -hmm. Hayes High Plains Chapter Barbershop Show. Yep. And uh, there's so many events. I could, I could just read all these all day long, but if you go to visithaze.com, our events calendar has a place where you can look and find exactly what you're looking for. Music, sports, things on campus. With descriptions then? Yes, okay. yes. Ah. We try to keep it populated with everything. On campus. I was going to ask you if there was a website. Give us that uh, address again. Visithaze.com. Okay. We'll be looking for great things from our new director here. Thank you. Lots of new ideas coming, I'll bet. Yes. From the uh, Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau with the director, Melissa Dixon, our community connection. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. My Angel Care physical therapist taught me how to do exercises safely. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. It gives us independence in our home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients.